Hi guys, welcome to Family Create. Hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'd like to go through the free Fitbit health tracking uh, features that comes integrated with the Google Pixel Watch. Uh, I've watched quite a few reviews and a lot of the reviews I've noticed are particularly um, paid interest in the uh, activation of the paid Fitbit um, health features and from that you get six month free and then after which you have to pay for for the app but I want to focus on the free version of the Fitbit health features that you can use which I want to show that it has sufficient information so today I'm going to show you that I haven't actually activated the um, Fitbit paid version of it yet even though I would have got six month free I, I've just got purely the free version and I'm going to go through that and I want to show you what features you get for free out of the box. So first I want to show you um, what's integrated into the Google Pixel Watch on the Fitbit app and then I'm going to move on to the phone and show it to you on the phone because it's easier to see on a bigger screen than the small screen on the watch. So if we go down to Fitbit today. By the way, at the moment, my husband has been using the Pixel Watch so that he can compare it to his Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. As you can see, this is what he's done today. Um, like steps, how many floors he's climbed, distance, color, calories he's burnt, uh, active zone, exercise. And each of those, you can actually go into, say, any of those and you get more details. So this is today, for example. So he's done, he's burnt 1,896 calories. And then you can see his best hours. And you can see uh, on average what's his um, burning. And then it gives you a weekly update. On the app, you can um, see a lot more in detail, which I'll show uh, later on. You can actually see more than a week uh, on the mobile app. Let's look at um, steps, for example, and then you can see today he's done 7,626 steps and his best hour is between 8 and 9. And on average, this is what he's doing. And then you can see on weekly, Friday has been the highest in terms of walking. Okay, let's look at um, sleep tracking. Okay, so in terms of sleep, he's done four hours, 54 minutes sleep session today, which is fair. You can see the sleep stages here, uh, light sleep, deep sleep, um, and so forth. We'll go more into details on the mobile app. He's been awake. The red zone is where he's been awake for 40 minutes in between. Um, it's quite detailed. And then overall the week we, we can see which has been the best day where he's had the longest sleep and then Friday been the worst. And then we can open it again, like I said, and see it on the phone. So we'll have a look at that on the phone. We'll see it in much more in detail. So all of this data is constantly syncing with the phone. Um, so let's look at the phone now and put the watch away. So on the phone, uh, this is a widget, a shortcut to the Fitbit app. So let's have a look. So this is the dashboard and here you can see some of the key matrix. So let's go into this one. Uh, you can see the steps um, and it's so nice to see the visual of what's been done over the course of the week or month. Uh, you, you can actually set it to a year as well. So we've got day here, week month year but um yeah, let's go back today so when you do dailies uh based on the hours that you've been basically been active and you can see the hours um today for example we've done 7626 steps which is over the targeted goal um and then how many floors been climbed 
today we've climbed 10 floors which is well above the target as well and it shows the time of the days that's all the climbing's been done and then if we look at how many miles been walked 3.34 miles so if we go back and look at the calories burned so here we can see a timeline of when the calories were burned here we've got the hours and here we've got the calories and we can see when the highest number of calories been burned during the day and again we can see weekly monthly yearly and if we tap on this it will show you exactly what date and the calories burned and again with all the categories you can go down and see more information and here you can see um, logs for um, previous days months weeks and this is all free you don't have to have a subscription to go back and see uh, historical data this is the active zone minutes if you go into this you can see the target for us here is 30 minutes and you can see what you've done over uh, the targets and so forth and more in detail and this is me just showing the basic so you can see here uh, the color obviously indicates uh, which heart zone you've been so uh, the yellow shows how much fat burn and which zone you've been then the orange and then obviously the peak is the red and if you go into the zone you can see more in detail and obviously it's a really nice graph uh, uh, showing you where it's been you've been at your peak and um, at rest and where you've been working and so forth so it's really good um, I'll show you more in detail uh, further down on the app let's go down so here you can see generally you get an overview of all the different uh, health features that you can check and let's start off with the sleep tracking which is really good um, I find it to be very detailed uh, as you can see an uh, overview here of the week um, or you can get a month three month year so when you tap on each of these you can see your sleep score um, on each day so there are other um, features like sleep hours sleep schedule you can schedule your sleep and uh, time in um, sleep stages uh, here as well moving down that you can go individually into the day and you get a lot more information a lot more detail so here you get the different stages of sleep and then here you get an overall score of that particular night sleep so here you can see fair four hours a year I guess it is face not very good night sleep and then you get the percentage down 12 percent 20 percent 55 percent of light sleep and then deep sleep 13 percent which is roughly you get the time as well 45 minutes three hours three minutes and so forth and then down here you can see your oxygen variation while you're sleeping and here as you can see it gives a good explanation of uh, blood oxygen saturation about fluctuating while you're sleeping and breathing and so forth so, so it's really nice to read and understand and then where you want to see more in detail for example this bit here um, sleeping heart rate so this will enable you to see how much your heart rate slows down during sleep and learn how this affects your sleep quality and if you want that bit of information you, it's locked you do need to activate your uh, paid subscription or pay for this paid subscription after the six months once activated so there you go look you, it's a premium version so you have to pay for that if you want to get more information and get the premium version this will give you basically a detailed report uh, and you get to basically understand and learn how your sleep quality duration and restlessness add up to 100 the scores i guess sleep heart rate view your heart rate during sleep and understand how it affects your sleep quality so if you need that information then i guess it's worthwhile you paying um the premium version for uh but if you don't or i don't I, I i can't see how many people will need to understand the sleep heart rate and you know how that affects your score um anyway if you do need that bit of information you can upgrade to the premium version otherwise i think uh, the information we get on the free version is more than sufficient
and then again here restlessness uh, know how often you toss and turn it turn during the night and see how this plays into your scores so again it's all about the scores if you want to understand why you scored say here low fair then you can upgrade and understand uh, but i think i guess we we pretty much know what can reduce our sleep just want to quickly show you um you get a lot more information um within um uh, the free part of the app so for example once you go into uh the sleep monitoring uh, section of that particular uh, night you see here if you see at night and your body cycles through different sleep stages and it gives you a good explanation it usually moves from light sleep to deep sleep back to light then into REM through sleep cycles very, very naturally so for example as you can see we start off with light then you get deep and then you go to um, light sleep and then again REM and then you go like awake uh, some of these awake moments you probably don't even remember because there's really small and quick in between while you're sleeping um, and then again it gives you a really detailed pattern of sleep and then if we move on is here you can see your awake stages and here the explanation you were awake for 40 minutes is typical to see 10 to 30 awakes time each night but because of some of these moments are so short you may not even remember them so moving on you can see this is the REM sleep you were 20 percent in REM sleep REM typically occurs late at night and has been shown to be important for your memory and mood during this stage dreams are more vivid heart rate is elevated and breathing is faster and then we have the light sleep stage which is quite a bit of your sleep time you were 55 percent in light sleep you might not know it but light sleep is really important it typically makes up most of your night and promotes mental and physical um, restoration and then finally here you have the deep sleep which tends to be quite low you were 13 percent in deep sleep deep sleep helps with physical recovery and aspect of memory and learning if you're feeling extra refreshed you likely spend some solid time in this stage so deep sleep is quite important but um, some of us have very little deep sleep so the data was for today now let's look at the 30-day average so as you can see with the 30-day average uh, this is roughly the same 12 percent rem again 20 percent but here we can see with the light sleep today's i showed 55 but on average is 57 and then here you can see deep sleep um 13 percent but average around 11 percent so let's look at the benchmark so here um this is the benchmark where typically a person would be awake between uh, 10 to 20 percent and here that was 12 percent so we can see that's within the average range REM sleep again is between 15 and 25 percent we are average again 20 percent with the light sleep is average uh, typical average is 40 to 60 percent we're at 55 percent which is uh, um, typical which is good within the range and in terms of deep sleep is between 12 and 18 percent again 13 percent is average so moving on um if you wanted to understand more about your estimated oxygen variation and so forth you can actually there's some really good information uh what's estimated oxygen variation why does it matter um you can read up on it and get some good information and help yourself uh, a bit more how it works and um what your results means and so forth so that was an extensive look at the sleep tracking let's go back and look at something else okay let's look at stress management we're all stressed at some point during the day or night so let's have a look at that again we can see it gives you a, a full breakdown if you want to have a look and here we have a weekly monthly and if you tap on each it gives you a score each day in terms of your stress level um, and let's learn a bit more and it gives you more information you can read up it's very extensive i mean it gives you a huge amount of information um, about stress management so here you can actually um, log your reflection so you can go in and add how you feel so if you want more details and want to understand a uh, full breakdown and get access to what's affecting your score of your stress you can actually go and see details in here once you go in to get that information, you know you have to pay for the um, annual subscription. 
what I'm trying to uh, make the point is that the amount of information you get for free and that little bit extra, if you want to know, you have to pay for uh, the subscription, which because you've bought the watch, you get six months free and the well, after that you have to pay for, but you get enough detailed information for free anyway. So here you can get good understanding. Um, it gives you quick stress uh, resets, so it recommends work workouts mindful information and what you can do to um promote sleep i guess get more sleep okay yeah so it's a guided program you can follow that and if you want to follow that get started so you get that already for free but you can start the survey and i guess they compile a report for you but it's there you can use that so let's look at track your mindfulness okay so here you can see um and this gives you a couple of yeah, couple of free. So I can see two free uh, mindfulness um, session that you can listen to, and the rest are premium. So if you want this, I guess you have to uh, pay for it. So now let's look at the exercise data for the week. So here we can see we have the goals, activities, duration, distance, zones, and then calories. So this is the breakdown of the day. Uh, let's look at one of the, so here you have the walk, then uh, strength training, high intensity training, walk, strength training. Anyway, let's look at one of them just to see how it's uh, broken down. So um, this is the heart rate zone for the f active 15 minutes of uh, exercise. As, as you can see, you've got the peak here. Uh, then you've got the four minutes cardio, uh, three minutes fat burning zone and four minutes below the zone. And here, as you go down, you can see the heart rate average was 124 beat per minute and then at maximum 162 beat per minute. And then here we can see the same information in a line chart, uh, which shows when you start and then as you start working, um, your heart rate going up and then picking down again. And... If we go and look at the energy level, you get more information about the calories that you burn and then the impact on your day from that exercise. By the way, um, quite a few reviewers have mentioned that the watch doesn't automatically detect uh, walking, but I just want to show it does. Um, we've got our set to automatically detect 10 minutes and it does automatically detect the walking um session and also syncs all the information on the watch um without any issues so that's something to note as well same goes for sleep tracking you don't have to um select it automatically detects uh the watch automatically detects that you're sleeping and it um collects the data which is really good okay so let's look at health matrix so here you can see the breathing rate and uh, it gives you in chart your uh, breathing per minutes and then here again uh, if you want the premium if you get the premium version you get to know your body better with personal range and a 30 day trend if you want to get premium but if you can get that daily why do you need a 30 day trend anyway heart rate uh, variability here so you get uh, milliseconds information and then resting heart rate so here we can see the uh, heart rate we've got the resting heart rate here cardio fitness and here we can see like my husband for example he's excellent 53 to 57 for a man of his age um, and then we've got the um, zones hard zones here uh, for each day for that week uh so fat burning zone cardio and peak we can see more in detail you can individually go into each of those and get more information um let's move on because i don't want the video to be too long so personalized heart rate zone let's go into that and see okay so this is uh, uh giving you detailed information of what each a zone means for the heart rate um more in detail you can read up on it for uh, your information but it's good information let's move on so the fitbit app recommends 250 steps per hour each day to maintain a physical um healthy balance so let's have a look here 
obviously it gives you an idea of you know where you've been active where you've been still anyway it's, it's really in detail you can have a look um let's move on because we don't have enough time let's move on to weight and as you can see you can log weight you got weight trends lean and fat and then you got bmi and then you got body fat and here you can log your water intake again it shows how much water intake for each day and again it goes all the way down to when you started lots of information on a monthly weekly okay so here you can log on um, your sugar level which I've we've never done so anyway that's there if someone who needs to they can use that to log on so as you can see from my brief description and going through these um, health features you can get a lot of information for free and it's not true that you need to uh, activate your paid subscription to get all this information this is all for free uh, which uh, you can um, get on your watch and which comes to your app for free also fitbit emails a weekly progress report on your health status and compares with previous week performance i want to quickly mention here that this is not me promoting fitbit i just wanted to demonstrate what the free version of fitbit offers because i have come across many pixel watch videos where reviewers have made a big deal about needing to activate the paid version of the Fitbit app in order to access all these um, health features. Hence why I decided to show the extensive data you can already get with the free version of the Fitbit app without activating the paid version. In my opinion, there is more than enough features in the free version for most people's need. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, I don't think they should be charging for the premium features. Anyway, um, I hope you uh, found this video useful. And if you have, please do give it a like and um, support us by subscribing. Uh, I have more videos coming up on the Google Pixel Watch. So do subscribe and put your notification bell on for our upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, do take care. Bye bye.